Hello and happy Friday. I'm Jeannie Hankins, publisher of the Wickenburg Sun. This weekly news wrap-up is brought to you by Premier Tax and Accounting with locations here in Wickenburg and Prescott. In this week's print edition of the Wickenburg Sun, the Wickenburg Unified School District received more than $733,000 in CARES Act funding. Our superintendent, Barbara Remondini, told the Sun that the money is being used to address achievement gaps and provide teachers with training and materials. Also, a pair of ghost hunters hit the front page this week. Marie and Jay Yates have been leading tours out at Vulture City. This pair is popular for their appearances on the Travel Channel's Haunted Case Files and My Ghost Stories Caught on Camera. And the Little Red Schoolhouse in downtown Wickenburg has received a lot of love lately. It's been transformed into an event venue. Read these stories and others in the January 20th edition, which is out on newsstands right now. Stories we're working on for next week include a feature on Wickenburg High School's Bur Virtual Academy teacher, Colleen Peterson, who was named the Wickenburg Chamber of Commerce Educator of the Year. She's a hometown graduate and has been with the school district for 24 years. She has served as a mentor to students and new teachers. Also coming up in next week's paper, local residents are looking at an alternative to the recently canceled Gold Rush Days. Crazy Days of Wickenburg would take place February 12th through 14th and would feature a pro rodeo, a freedom walk ride, and a Sunday bike rally. The Senior Pro Rodeo has confirmed with the Sun that they will have a rodeo on Saturday and Sunday of that weekend, and we will keep you up to date as all the other plans are confirmed. This comes after the Town Council decided last Monday not to sponsor an alternative event to Gold Rush Days. The Wickenburg Town Council also eased parking requirements downtown um, for businesses. The council eliminated the parking requirements for the downtown area, leaving it up to businesses to decide how much parking they need. All this and more will be in your mailbox and on the newsstand in your January 27th paper. In the meantime, stay tuned to our Facebook page and keep an eye on wickenburgsun.com for all of the breaking news. That's a wrap for this week. Have a healthy, happy weekend, Wickenburg. Wickenburg.